Chancellor Scholz wants big changes to the way Germany deals with asylum applications. It is our goal that asylum requests and the hearing of the people seeking protection take place at the initial reception center. It is widely predicted that those centers will be outside of Germany. Scholz has said he's looking closely at Italy's deal with Albania to hold migrants while applications for asylum are assessed. German refugee organizations have hit back at the plan. Instead of taking pragmatic measures to accept people in need of protection, the solution to Germany's challenges is now likely to be sought in Turkey or North Africa. It is absolutely unrealistic to expect such deals to be implemented effectively and above all in accordance with human rights. In the first nine months of this year, Germany accepted 230,000 asylum applicants. That's more than in the whole of 2022. It's seen emergency accommodation like this behind me pushed to its very limits and local authorities stretched. And those figures don't even include the more than one million Ukrainian refugees. The change of policy from Berlin means that instead of having to negotiate each year with central government, Germany's 16 states will receive a sum of around $8,000 per person per year for housing. Scholz's party have been pummeled in the polls, and local elections in the states of Hesse and Bavaria saw gains for anti-immigrant far-right parties. Government estimates show the plans could save over a billion dollars from the federal budget. The Chancellor appears to be trying to show he's not soft on migration. I don't want to use big words, but I would like to say that I believe this is a historic moment as we sit here, in light of an unquestionable huge challenge with very large numbers of migrants and irregular migration, we have managed for all levels of the state to closely cooperate, which is necessary. People expect this of us. There will also be an overhaul of deportation rules, supposedly making it easier to remove those people whose asylum applications have failed on deportation flights like this one. However, how that will be implemented remains to be seen. There are currently over 200,000 people in Germany who have had asylum applications turned down and cannot be repatriated, some for reasons as simple as no other nation will take them in. Peter Oliver, CGTN, Berlin.